Let's learn how to convert fractions to decimals. I have a fraction and I want to convert it into a decimal number. So I'm going to take the numerator and put it inside my division box. My denominator goes outside. 5 goes into 2, well it actually doesn't. So what I'm going to have to do is put a decimal point here and add a 0. Now I can add as many zeros as I want and it won't change the problem. So 5 doesn't go into 2, but 5 goes into 20. Just ignore the decimal point there. So 5 goes into 20 four times. You put the 4 on the rightmost digit. Okay. 5 times 4 is 20, and we have no remainder. So we're actually done with the problem. We're going to push up the decimal point here, and our final answer is 0 0.4. Okay, let's try another one. I have three eighths, okay? So inside the box goes the numerator, outside the box goes the denominator. Okay, so three, uh, eight doesn't go into three, so we put a decimal point here and put a zero. <clears throat> and then eight goes into 30. It goes in three times. Three times eight is 24. And we take the difference and we get a six. Now we're going to add another zero because we have a remainder. I want to get a few more decimal points up here. So we're going to drop the zero. Eight goes into 60. So we have seven. Seven times eight is 56. Take the difference. I have a four. I'm going to add another zero. Drop that down. Eight goes into 40 evenly. Five times eight is 40. And we're almost done. We just need to push up that decimal point here. Okay. And my final answer is 0.375. Let's take a look at 3 over 11. So the 3 is going to go in the box, and 11 goes outside. Okay, we're going to add a decimal point here. 11 goes into 30 twice, minus 22, and I have a difference of 8, so I'm going to add another 0, bring it down, 11 goes into 8 7 times, okay, so we have 77, and then we have a difference of 3, and then uh, we're going to have one more 0, okay, 11 goes into 30, Again, 2 times minus 22. Okay, so this is going to continue <clears throat> this pattern. So what we're going to do is put the decimal point right up here. Okay, all right, and you can see how I'm going to get another 0 here. We'll make this 80, and then I'll have 77. So I'm actually going to have 0 0.272727. So I have a repeating decimal. So what we do is we actually find the part where it's repeating and we ignore the rest and we write this as 3 over 11 equals 0 0.27 and we put a bar over it. And that simply means that it goes 0 0.27272727, just like that. All right, let me pause just for a second. How are you doing with the content so far? Is it starting to make sense? You're starting to see some patterns? Okay, so if this is making sense and you're excited to learn even more, I'm actually hosting an online class on fractions, decimals, and how to convert between the two. And the best part is it's free. You can register for it here at getmath.net slash decimals. Okay, let's get back to the math content. Are you ready to dive back into it? Let's go. How about three quarters? Okay, so the three goes here, four goes here. I'm going to add a zero. So four goes into 37 times minus 28. Okay, and so I've got a difference of two. I'm going to extend my line, drop another zero. Four goes into 20 five times, and it's a perfect match, and there's nothing left over. I'm going to push up my decimal point here. So three quarters is 0 0.75. Five sevenths. Okay, so the seven goes here, the five goes here. Seven doesn't go into five, so we already have to add, add a zero. Okay, so we're going to have a decimal point. Let me just push it up early. Okay, so this is going to be a seven. Seven times seven is 49. 
and I have a difference of one. And then we're going to drop another zero down. Okay. And then I have a one because seven goes into 10 one time and I have a three left over. So we're going to extend this a little bit. Okay. And so this is a zero. And so seven goes into 30 four times. Dif four times seven is 28. A difference is two. All right, take another zero, go down. Seven goes into 20 two times. Two times seven is 14. And I am left with a six, and here's another zero. Let's drop it down. Okay, seven goes into 60 eight times. And I have a 56, and a difference is four. We'll add another zero. And now we're at 40. Seven goes into 40 five times. It's going to be a 35 and a difference of five. And then we're going to bring the zero down. And do you see how this is a 50? And then we are going to repeat the whole thing from up here and do the same division using the same number sequence. Here, this was the five that I had just added. Okay. And so this goes on and on and on. So you can you can truncate it as much as you need to. Say you just need one decimal place or two decimal places, then you can just do that and call it a day and say, oh, five sevenths is about 0.71. The reason I wanted to do this is because actually this is a repeating decimal of six numbers. It keeps going 0.714285, 714285, 714285, because it, it actually repeats. And so the sevens are unique like that. So five over seven is equal to 0 0.714285 bar. <laughs> but for most people, you don't need that many decimal points. So I would say five sevenths is approximated to 0 0.71. And that works just fine. So if your kids are stressed about learning fractions or decimals, then I've got something I'm sure you're going to appreciate. I'm actually hosting an online class on fractions and decimals, as well as how to convert between the two. And the best part is it's free. You can register here at getmath.net slash decimals, and I'll see you in class.